Hello people, this is Keith the Modesto doing my Let's Play Minecraft series using Feed the Beast and Direwolf 20's mod pack. Um, Alright, now I made up, I uh, created a mining age two episodes back and finally got to go take a look at it at the last episode to make sure that it was, um, you know, that it didn't have too many uh, side effects, bad, not too many bad side effects. <clears throat> the only way, the only one that it's apparent right now is weakness. Like, I don't see anything exploding and uh, horrible things like that. <clears throat> so, uh, so this is where we're going to build a machine. Now, I had a particular plan for the machine, and I guess we're going to go back. Let's go ahead and go back to our main base. Because I'm... Got, got monsters here. Ooh, I got a skull. Okay, um, now what I was planning on doing was making a, trying it an idea that I had for a mining machine that would use a platform that would be moving around, up, down, up, down, left, right, forward, back, um, using uh, Red Power 2 frames and, and frame motors, and then using turtles to mine. So the idea would be the frame would, s would be in a, in a spot, stationary, uh, a computer on the platform would issue a command, it would be like the central com uh, command station of the platform. So it would issue a command to the turtles saying, go out and mine. It would either say, go mine in front of us, go mine underneath us, go mine to the left or the right, or mine all around. There'd be like different settings. It could, it could tell the turtles what, where to mine. And then once, once the, the commands were issued, the, each turtle, there would be like eight of them. Uh, no, six, eight, no, eight, eight turtles, per, two per side. Um, they would like take a predetermined path to mine out a certain uh, sector, so so that it would, you know, so with that many turtles all mining at once, it would take less time to mine out a certain area. Then, um, once the turtles had mined that area, they would um, they would come back to the platform and and uh, unload all their stuff, which would get sent back to the base here using an a uh, ender chest like this one right here. And uh, that's the and then and then once the turtles are back safely on the platform, the computer would issue another command to move, would would you know issue signals to the um, the frame motors to move the platform, uh, you know forward like ten ten blocks or something, and then uh, and the cycle would repeat, and and. Um, that conceptually is not too. Uh, difficult um, but I also was thinking you know you need to have and you need to have a way for the turtles to recover their position because uh, as long as long as the world is loaded there'd have to be a chunk loader on the platform to keep everything loaded because we wanted to operate remotely without me being there oh, that's kind of the point you know like a quarry you set up the quarry and then leave it alone and it mines for you while you go do and do other things elsewhere which is why a quarry automatically loads uh, th the chunks that it's in. And if, if I build this machine, I need to, I'd put a chunk loader on the platform so that it would stay, the area around it would stay loaded. Now, uh, all right, so as long as, long as everything's loaded, uh, you know, as long as, long as it com the uh, machine completes a whole cycle before you turn the game off, you know, to uh, like go to bed or go to work or something, then everything is fine. Um, but uh, you know, if I if I turn the machine on and say go ahead and just go forward and just keep on going until I t tell you to stop, right? And then I go and do my my stuff, and then I turn the computer off while the turtles say are still out mining and I haven't returned yet to the platform. Then when the game when I, you know, when I start the game up the next day, the uh, the turtles are all going to be rebooted, and they will not know where they are. They won't, you know, because because I can just set them up to kind of dead reckon their positions, you know, from the platform to whatever they're mining, and they get back, and that would work fine. But if 
if they get rebooted while they're out there away from the platform, they're going to be lost, so to speak. They won't be very far away, of course, but it would require me to go to the platform each time I turn on my game, uh, restart my, my the Minecraft. I'd have to go to the platform to make sure that, you know, that everything was fine. In fact, they probably will be away from the platform because it'll, it'll take the, the cycle. When the cycle's running, I think it would... <clears throat> a cycle, there'd be more time... Uh, the phase where the turtles are out mining would be longer than the phase where the platform's moving. I'm guessing. I'm pretty sure that would be the case most of the time. Um, which means I pretty much would have to check in the platform every, every time I turn the game on and, like, go and find the turtles and get them back to the platform, which would be really cumbersome. Now, the way around that, I think, is to set up a GPS system because... Um, Minecraft computers are, have a, an API called GPS, which w allows you to set up a GPS system, so to speak, within the Minecraft world using four computers uh, and modems. You place the four computers, three on one plane and one outside of, that, of the plane of the other three, way up high. The higher, the better, because there's a range. The thing is, I, just, I was just checking up on this because I wanted to make sure you know, how that worked. For instance, a, a turtle can only have two peripherals, the last time I checked anyway, max. So, I, so one peripheral has to be the, the uh, axe, of course, so, or um, the pick, so the turtle can mine. The other peripheral needs to be a wireless modem so that the central computer can issue com the turtle commands. Um, at least it'd be a lot easier doing it that way than trying to use redstone wires to do it all. Uh, because the turtle won't just be mining I mean, I, my idea was that the, the turtle could potentially mine in several different areas, depending on if, whether we want to mine down or up or whatever. So, um, so I wanted to check that the GPS worked through the modems, and it does. So that's fine. So the turtles only need two peripherals: the the uh, pickaxe and the modem. Uh, the problem is is that even when you uh, the higher the the higher the GPS computers are in the world, the longer the range is. But the, there is a max range, which is, I think, 384, 384 blocks. Now, if, if you're setting up a... And, and my idea was I would set up a, a GPS for computers, you know, above the spawning point in that mining age, right? And then the, and then the, central, the, uh, the computer on the platform could figure out its location and the turtles could figure out their locations. Each time the platform move moved, you know, I could reset those locations, and and then the turtles could get back to the platform even if they were wiped, so to speak, when they rebooted in between in the middle of a cycle because I turned turn the turn my you know I shut down Minecraft anyway. Uh, since there's a max range of 384, that doesn't work so well because uh, you know I'd have to like extend the GPS system every 384 blocks or something which would, would not work well at all when, when I want to turn the platform on and just tell it to go indefinitely. Um, there, now, there, I think you could get around that by actually setting up the GPS system on the platform itself, meaning at least three additional computers on the platform, you know, three on one plane and a fourth outside that plane, which could be the command computer that's going to be there already, so to speak. <sighs> but that, that just, just, just makes me tired feel, uh, thinking about that. Oh, it would mean that each time you move the, the platform, you'd reset the GPS system. So it would, so the origin point of the GPS system, the zero, zero point of the GPS system, would be centered on the platform always. So you'd have to reset the GPS system each time the platform moved, and you know, and that would work. But it just makes me tired thinking about that. That's just another thing that make that makes the whole thing more complicated. And I'm just wanting to get going, I guess. So I think I've changed my plans, and instead of building that mining machine, I'm going to go with the simpler mining machine that. Starwolf uh, recently came up with, um, like a month ago, I think, where you use turtles and mining wells and a platform. Now, he's, he's updated that 
in his newest server Let's Play to one that doesn't need the platform. But I'm going to go ahead with the one that needs the platform because, well, I haven't worked with platform platforms before, so I want to try it out. That's one reason, and it seems it seems simpler to to program. So we're going to go ahead and do that one, and that means I need. Uh, so I'm going to be using like I don't know, are there 16 16 blocks across on a chunk? Anyway, I'm going to need a bunch of turtles and a bunch of mining wells, and. Um, which means, as I was just checking this out, which means I need redstone, of course, to make mining wells. I will show you. Turtles, of course. Turtles are uh, iron and a chest around a computer, and the computer requires some stone, a glass, and one piece of redstone. Okay, so all that is not bad, one piece of redstone. And then a mining well. Oops. Well, that takes a... Uh, one piece of redstone and iron gear and some iron and a pickaxe. So none of that is bad. The thing is, is that if I look at my network here and type in redstone, you will see that I have no redstone dust at all. I've used it all up doing other things, which is the reason why I've set up a quarry. I've set up a quarry. Let's go check it out real quick. Uh, let's see. Oh, I need to go up. And let's go ahead and put my linking book down here. Okay, so check out my mind. Oh, we got we got our little wonkiness going on here. Okay, age eight. That's where my mining quarry is, and it is dark outside. Let's turn my lights on here and get out of the way of any monsters. Okay, so there's my newest quarry. We're gonna wait for the the um, these chunks to load a little bit before I zoom down there. I want to see how far it's gotten. I don't think it's gotten very far down. The reason I'm checking on this. Well, you can see there's there's the line right there. Okay. Okay. So we've got some monsters. Okay, so we've gotten down to 52. Okay, so we've got a ways to go before we're gonna hit any redstone. So if I just leave this alone, uh, it's going to be a while before I can even make. Because I was thinking, well, I know what I'm going to do. Let's just go ahead and make our mining wells and our turtles right now. And say we need some um, we need some energy tesseracts. And and the frames and the blue, uh, the blue tricity motors, I believe. And an ender chest. And probably some relays. And tubes. Okay, so I could just start making all those things in this episode, but I don't have any redstone. I don't have any redstone at all, and it's going to be a while before I'm going to get any redstone from this quarry. So, not that one, this quarry. Okay, so I am going to go mining. I am going to go mining for redstone manually. And uh, you see I've got weakness and mining fatigue, which is why I've got all those little curly cues rising up from me. Um, so I'm going to go mining. I'm going to do that off camera and get some redstone. I guess I need at least 32 redstone, right, for these turtles and the mining wells. If I'm going to have 16 across, I have to check on that if that's how big I think. I think chunks are 16 across. Um, I might need more redstone for the other things I need to make, though. I need to check on that. But anyway, so I'm going to go mining for redstone, and when I am done, I will come back and we will start making at least some of the components for this build, okay? So I will be right back. All right, I am back. I went mining for redstone, and I found some. I think I've already put it in the system. I think I got a 53, which is enough to get started. I believe. Um, but it, it has actually been several days since I recorded the first half of this episode. And I am so tired. Not really tired at the moment. This is the morning I just got up from sleeping through the night. But um, I am working all the time, apparently. And I mean, it. well, I'm working all the time. And apparently it's going to be like that for a while. And, uh, and I just, when I get home from work, do not feel like doing anything. Um, I, I can muster the energy to maybe play for 15 minutes or something. 
after doing other things I have to do, but recording just, I just cannot muster the energy to record, um, you know, to think about how to structure things. So I'm going to change things again. I didn't really do my other plan very, for very long. Um, I am going to make some things right now, though, for this, since I've already started this episode, so we'll go ahead and wrap it up, wrap it up. <clears throat> do some things and then wrap this episode up. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm just going to tinker around, you know, and do things in my world and then maybe I'll do an episode once a week or something where I show the things that I've done. Because well, see my plan, my plan's always been of course to do these episodes and make things and, you know, try to have some fun uh learning things and mods I haven't done before haven't done anything with before like these frames I've never done anything with frames and frame motors but um or Twilight Forest or Thomcraft anyway uh but anyway at some point Dire Direwolf 20 is going to finish his episode his current episode in this with this map with this seed um and have a a grand finale I guess where he does a tour so and I thought I should at that point, do my own tour, you know, of what I've done with this mod pack, the same mod pack that he's using, and the same seed for the map that he's using, and show what I've got, you know. So I'm still going to do that, of course. So that's my plan. I will, I will work on things, get things ready, pretty things up, and... And then if I do, every time I do something major, like after I finish building this mining machine, you know, I'll do a little episode to show what I've done with just with that, you know. But whenever, whenever he actually finishes his season, then I will do an episode where I do a tour, at least 30 minutes. Maybe, maybe it'll take several tours. I, I mean, maybe I'll have like two episodes or something. It depends on, on how much time it it seems I'm going to take to to do my tour of of what I've done, but I'll do a tour of my of my world here. So and then and I would hope I'm I'm thinking I actually I could go back to past seasons he's done and see if he's if if he's done this or other people. But I would think you can do video responses, <clears throat> you know, to people's videos. So I could try to do it um, do it as a, a response. You know, besides just posting it to my channel, do it as a try to get it as a video response to his video because I'm guessing other people would do the same thing so you know people can see what other people have done anyway so but we have about we got a little over 10 minutes left in this episode so I'm gonna go ahead and make some of the components for um, for this uh, machine for this uh, mining machine using turtles and mining wells so we need some frames, and I've already put some of the recipes in this uh, into my system here. I did this a while back, and then in anticipation, because I, I'm going to make one of these platforms for moving around, the uh, the that crystal thing that you make for moving nodes in Thumbcraft. I, I made these recipes, and then in anticipation of that. Uh, anyway, so here the support frames. We need some support frames. So let's go ahead and make 30 of these. I think that'll be more than enough for. Um, for this uh, build. Okay, and then we need some, f not machine frames, we need, oh yeah, frame motors. We need two frame motors. Uh, for each direction, forward, back, left, right, up, down, you need two frame motors. But since this, this mining well machine is only really just going to go forward. Once we have it built and start it off, it just needs to keep on going forward. So we only need two. So we're going to make two, there we go. And I could show the recipes for this in case you're wondering, in case anyone's wondering. Frame, if I go up, frame, okay. So the f support frame, that is just some brass <clears throat> surrounded by sticks. Brass is made, well, like smelting brass blend. But anyway, you, if you take tin and copper and one tin and three copper and put it in an alloy furnace, you get some brass ingots. Uh, I don't have it. I have an alloy furnace, but I, I have an alloy furnace, but I have it set it up so that so that the um, the uh, applied energistics network can automatically make uh, 
brass in an alloy furnace. My alloy furnace is just manual. It's sitting over there. I made a bunch of brass quite a while back, quite a ways back though, so I have some on supply, and I, I just haven't automated that. Okay, now a frame motor. That is a blue electric motor with some iron and brass and blue alloy ingots. And a blue electric motor is blue alloy ingots, iron, and these copper coils. And that is made with <laughs> all this stuff and a fine copper wire. And copper wire is made by drawing copper ingots through diamond draw plates. And draw diamond draw plates are made with <laughs> iron panel strips and a diamond panel. Diamond panel is made by cutting uh, a diamond block a couple of times with a diamond handsaw. Anyway, that's a lot of steps, but I, I got all this stuff for that in here already. So it was able to make the frame motors for us. Now, the frame motors take power. They take blue electric power, so we need to we need some blue, um, we, and that's from uh, that's from red power two. I guess red power two. But so we need some stuff for that. So we need we need a a blue electric battery. And there's actually already one downstairs from the sorting machine build I had before, which is now gone because all that stuff it was doing was taken over by the um, by the uh, Applied Energistics Network. <coughs> but, so we have one of those already and it's not being used. Oh, uh, why can't I? Okay. So, um, see, I did not try to turn all the way around. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> crazy. It is crazy. Um, I wonder, no, okay. Um, I'm on a Mac and it automatically starts backing up every once in a while. I just looked over to see if the icon showed that it was doing that. Maybe why that was happening, but it's not. It's not, I don't know, I understand. Anyway, here's here's the blue electric battery. If we right click on it, we can see it's actually already full of of uh, blue tricity. That's uh, generated by these thermal piles, I guess, <clears throat> that are down there. Anyway, we're gonna grab this. I don't know. Actually, I don't know if I'm gonna try right-clicking it with this wrench and see if that'll pick it up. I don't know if that works, and I don't know if it'll keep its charge when I do. But we're gonna find out. So here we go. No. No. All right. Maybe a screwdriver. Actually, I doubt that. But the screwdriver is actually from. All right, we're just gonna break it then, and see what happens. Okay, it broke pretty easily. Does it keep it charged though? I can't tell. Well, I guess we'll find out. Um, if it does, and let's see. Oh, we need some wire. Oh, and there's some wire right here. Here we go. We'll pick this up. I'm gonna leave these things here because there's not just that one block down there. There's some water and some lava, and that's a mess, to, you know, to try to. Uh, <laughs> why? That's a mess to try to move around, and um. So I'm just gonna. Oh, this is horrible. This is the word. Mm, the rain's probably not helping. Maybe that's what it is. I'm gonna get rid of the rain. Let's see. So to do that, I need to change my mode in, uh, into cheat mode here for a minute. Okay, and then we'll hit... Where is that? This. Turn the rain off. Okay. Then go back to options. And go back to recipe mode. And I'm still hearing the rain. How long does it take for that to work? Maybe that was it. Oops, doesn't mean it's not signed. Okay, no more rain. Okay, maybe that'll help a little bit. Okay, um, so oh, and let's get a two buttons. Oh, I've got I've got four minutes here, a little over four minutes. So let's see if I, this is enough time. I don't have any buttons in here. Okay, I gotta make some buttons then. I need planks. I think I'd have a bunch of buttons. Here we go. I don't remember. 
remember how many of these. I might, how, just one. Is it one plank for a button? Yeah. Okay. Let's make two buttons. All right. And let's get rid of these planks. Okay. So I'm just thinking of trying to test things out a little bit here. Right here. Right here. Ugh. In my little room here. Um. Maybe we can go down. Actually, maybe we should go downstairs because then we'll have more room to move around. No, let's do it up here because, uh, let's do it up here. Um, so let's uh, get these things out of the way. Get this down here, this, this, and this. I don't have room for that. Okay, so first we're going to put down some support frames. Bam. I'll just put one down there so I can put these here. Okay, so let's make it six. Okay, and we're going to take that out. Pick it up. Okay, now, do I need, hmm. well, let's actually, just for a little more room, put two more here, whoops, see, my, my cursor's still jumping around a little bit, it doesn't seem quite so bad, but can I get up here, yes I can, oh, oh, let me out, okay, so, if you put a frame motor right here, oh, <sighs> not two, okay, so, oh, actually, okay, so we want to turn it. That arrow, that arrow is the direction that the frame is going to move when we power, um, when we power the motor, and that is not the right direction. In fact, the way things are set up right now, I don't think that would even do anything. So, oh, my screwdriver's already here. So we need the screwdriver here, because I think that is the way that you move frame motors. If we click there, now that is a better direction. Is that the right? I think though that you have to have it Is that all it's going to do? Oh, there we go. I need you know what what we need to do is go in here. I need to be able to There we go. That's right. I think I think that that face with the arrow needs to be touching the frame and then it will move in the direction that the arrow is pointing. Okay, so we're going to put that frame back. Okay, now, of course, this isn't going to do anything because it has no power. That's going to be, we're going to fix that, and I think we want in a few more frames for a little more room here. Okay, that's going to be fixed with the battery. Now, oh, and we do want the battery to move, don't we? Don't, with the, uh, yeah, we do. So we're just going to stick the battery down right here. Now, do we, hmm. I don't know if we can put the the wiring directly on the frame or not. I guess we're gonna find out. We need um, the wiring. Okay. So, oh, and actually, I don't know if this has a charge in it. It's just oh, that's the wrong. Oh, I put another frame down. I meant to put the battery down. There. Okay. Oh, it still has its charge. Some anyway. It lost a little. Okay, good. So, whoops. So I want that. Okay, I can't put that on the frame directly, but I think what I want is a as paneling panel, and I know I have some. Yes, I do. So, and while we're here, we might as well get some covers too, because you also need to use covers, and I have some covers. Okay, now we're gonna. Oh, cursor creasiness. Okay, so we're going to put a panel right here, right? And then we're going to put the alloy wire right here. Oh, and there's my timer. I mean, so we're out of time, but I think we have, okay. And I think I just saw a little light come on on the, on the, um, on the motor here. You saw that? Did you see that? I, th I saw that. I think it'll show up in the video. So, which means this thing is powered out. So I think all we need to do to get this to move Ooh, you know, something's gonna break it. I think something's about to break, but we'll find out. Okay, so if I put the button right here. Now, I believe what's gonna happen is when I press that button, the frame is gonna try to move, and then the button will pop off. But there's a little wrinkle is I think the arrow and the position of my motor is gonna make something weird happen. Maybe? But we're gonna, I'm just gonna push the button and see what happens. It didn't work. Yeah, things aren't set up right. 
Yeah. It can't. Yeah. So we need to. I need to. I need to move this. Oh, I, I guess it doesn't matter. I can just leave that there. I'm gonna put the butt. I'm gonna put the battery. The battery, not that. Battery. I need that back. Give me a battery. Come down here. I'm gonna put that battery right here. And and then we're gonna put we're gonna put more paneling right here. And right here. I'm just gonna try to get. I'm gonna try once more to get this to work, and then we'll wrap the episode up. Okay, and we put the that back there, and we put the. Need to put the frames back there okay so now it's connected back up to the power and I think this will work oh it's the, the frames not gonna move so let's try the frame should move I don't think it will. let's try this let's let me just push this button and see what happens oh it worked it worked okay the button popped off but it worked and now of course it's not connected anymore Oh no, it's connected there. Cool. Okay, so I could put the button back. Let's try this. I'll put the button back on. Uh, there we go. And if I push it again, it'll move it again. And the button got the button popped off again. Anyway, so there, there's there's the idea. And you see it's just moving in one direction. Now the reason why I need the reason for uh, having two frame motors is um, after you saw after the motor moves the frame, the motor doesn't move, it just stays where it is. Um, which means whatever connections it had set up to wires and batteries, uh, you can set it up so it stays connected maybe a few times, but, but eventually, it, you know, it's gonna, the frame's gonna keep on going, it's gonna go right off the edge. Like if I did this one more time, I think it would get power from the battery to, directly, which is sitting next, next to it, but then, well, I'll, let's go ahead and try it. But then, um, of course, the battery won't, the, the frame motor won't be on the frame anymore, right? So if I stick another battery on, of course now it's no longer connected. The light went off. That or did it? Maybe the, maybe it holds a little bit of a charge. But okay, well you can see it's got the little treads down there are moving. Yeah. Um, so it must keep a little bit of a charge. But eventually it'll run out of power too. And of course it's not moving the frame. Uh, so but if you have another frame, another frame motor, excuse me, you can set up another frame motor that will not move the frame or anything. It'll only move this frame motor right here. If I if I suck another frame motor, whoops, like, uh, let's take off that button. Okay, if I put another frame motor and I put it right here, and then I turned it so that that arrow is facing, you know, is kind of stuck on this frame motor, then when I powered this frame motor, it would move this frame motor forward so it was back in this original spot, right? And, and, and also, this frame motor, uh, when it's all set up right, it'll be attached to the frame. So every time the frame, every time, so the idea is every time this frame motor moves the frame, it moves this frame motor too, along with it. So this frame motor stays, always stays in the same, always stays attached to the frame at the same spot on the frame. It just moves along with, every, with the frame, just like the battery box here did. Uh, but but okay so when you when you activate this frame motor it moves the frame forward then you activate this frame motor to move this first frame motor back into position and then you repeat so and so that's one cycle every time you do that thing it moves the frame motor forward moves the first frame motor uh, excuse me it, every time you do the cycle it moves the frame and everything attached to it forward and then you move the frame motor the first frame motor forward with the second frame motor then your everything's back to the way it was before and you're ready to repeat the cycle and move the frame forward again. That's an inchworm drive. Of course I did not come up with this. Uh, someone, I don't know who, but someone a long time ago came up with this. And uh, and of course people use it all the time. So that, that, that kind of setup gets you your frame moving in one direction. If you wanted it to go back, you know, this way, you'd have to have two more frame motors to set, set, it, set up to go back. And if you wanted to go this way, that would take two more frame motors. To go back this way, that would take two more frame motors up and down. So if you if you wanted to go in all six directions, you would need um, twelve frame motors, I believe. Right. Um, we're not going to do all that though. We're just going to go forward. So we just need two. And then anyway, so that's pretty pretty close to having things ready. I just need to uh, all that all. Uh, 
as far as just getting the frame moving, all I need to do is um, set up the connections, position this other frame motor correctly, put down panels and covers and stuff correctly, and also get get some uh, wi wireless redstone uh, transmitters and receivers and stuff because of course that button pops off every time you use it. Uh, so you need to have like a, a redstone um, receiver set up to uh, send a redstone signal into the frame motor and you put that on a on a panel so it'll stay in the right spot. It'll stay in its spot all the time. Anyway, and anyway, so I'm gonna build all that including the turtles and then when that's all done I will have an episode in which I will show that off, all working. And it might be it might be about a week. Maybe it'll be a little less before before that episode will show up. Oh, uh, unless of course maybe my work will come back to sanity and I won't be so tired all the time. Who knows? I do not have much hope for that though. The way things have been, um, you know, I cannot position myself correctly when I'm looking at myself like that. The chest is too disorienting. Okay, so this has been Keithy Manesto playing Minecraft. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.